Have you ever faced a real apocalyptic situation or a power shutdown? Have you ever stand face to face with a zombie or a bad guy who wants to harm you? We show you here what is the right gear that you need when shit hits the fan. Welcome to Apocalypse Survival Gear. Gear that you need to survive the apocalypse. You may have seen in the zombie apocalypse those gloves that protect your hands when it comes to urban or wooden areas. So I'll show you what I have to protect my hands when it comes to survival. Those are my gloves that I use in survival situations as well as urban areas or when I'm in the woods. Protecting your hands is very, very important and you need to have a real good glove when you do some heavy work or even when you are in urban areas. Well, some folks are asking which kind of gloves I use, so here is the answer. Guys, these are the 511 multi-grip gloves that I use in nearly 99.9%. You want to have a glove that has great grip, you want to have a glove that is breathable in material and you want to have a glove that protects your fingers, your hands as well as your knuckles. As far as I have seen those gloves are really good. You have this tab here that you can hold with your thumb and index finger and just slip in with your hand. It's really nice so you have this device here to push the glove against your hand. That's what the tab is for. It closes by velcro. And now your hand is protected against anything. As said before, protecting your knuckles is very important. And this gloves here has those small little soft padded areas that protects only your knuckles. Your finger is not protected with this soft material. It's just a mesh so you have breathable and you don't get sweaty hands. In between any finger you have this leather, very very soft leather and it's not that noisy when you rub your fingers against each other. It's also very comfortable. As you can see this is a tactical glove and there is a thicker portion of this grip this multi-grip that runs from your thumb up to this area here and all the way along the index finger. This is especially when you do some shooting. This protects your hand with the gun, backside of the gun, but you also have the flexibility because of those cuts here and here give you more freedom with the movement of the finger so you can have a very fast shooting it also has some slits here and here for grabbing something so you have really nice feel and your hand is not blocked in movement that's nice as always the color doesn't matter it just has to be black very nice gloves that protects you in any situation. You can grab wood, you can dig, you can do anything. You can grab stones, you can work with wood, work with stones, you can touch concrete without getting your hands cut. Um, you may have to break some glass or whatever, just punch it, you know. You have some really good protection when it comes to face-to-face -to -face combat. Those gloves are really good, even for combat situation because your trigger finger is not blockaded, um, you have very good comfortable gloves. I personally 
really like them. They are great for me as what I am using for. They are not that expensive, they are around 35 to 40 euros. One thing I want to show you now is the The material of this grip is nearly like a sandpaper, you know. You have some really rough surface and as you can see the dirt is getting caught by it. But that gives you also great grip when you need it. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you liked this small little video about protecting your hands, which is very important. See you soon in the next one. Mike out. For more apocalypse survival gear, please watch the series right here on Survival Mike's channel. Please subscribe and leave a comment as well as a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Mike out.